Hai, this is Ishan. Hai, Maya. And welcome back to the... Welcome to the Hubal Show. So, how well do you know the Hindu gods? Hindu gods. Uh, there's a lot of them. Oh, actually there's, there are a lot of them. There are a lot of them. Mm-hmm. So, how well do you know Hindu gods? I don't know, maybe that's why we should watch this video. <laughs> so simple. So basically, when we were kids, when we yeah. were kids, yeah. right? Especially in the 90s era, yeah. I watched a lot of Mahabharata mm-hmm. and Ramayana. Yeah. So basically, as you know, Mahabharata and Ramayana is based on the Sanskrit Um, Sanskrit, Sanskrit, uh, like, like Sanskrit writings, writings, Sanskrit writings, yeah, yeah. and it's a, it's a long old, old, old writing. And as you know, Indonesia is based a long, long time ago. Yeah, Indonesia, ancient Indonesia is mostly our Hindu, Hindu kingdoms. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the Majapahit, Maja, uh, the Sri Vijaya, yeah, yeah. right, uh-huh. right. So, uh, Sri Sri Rak PG. PG has asked us to react. Why do Hindus have, have so, so many, many gods? gods? It's from FTV, FTV I'm just gonna read, channel. I'm just going to read it a little bit. So, yeah. um, in this episode, I am exploring the question of why Hindus have so many gods. Ramakrishna. Ramakrishna, a prominent Hindu, wrote, yeah. quote unquote, mm-hmm. There can be as many Hindu gods as there are devotees to suit the moods and feelings, emotions and social backgrounds of the devotees. What does so that mean? That means a lot. There's a lot, there's yeah. a lot. Yeah. The one that we know is Ganesha. Ganesha. And we know and, Krishna. Uh, The one that has so many hands. To be honest, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we can see. Just <laughs> gonna check them out. Just yeah. gonna check them out right now, guys. So check, check it out. out. common belief is that okay. inside Hinduism there are 330 million Hindu gods. Sri Ramakrishna, a prominent Hindu, wrote. There can be as many Hindu gods as there are devotees to suit the moods. feelings, emotions, and social backgrounds of the devotees. Hey everyone, my name is Leroy Kenton and you're watching FTD Facts. Now in this episode, I'm exploring the question of why are there so many Hindu gods? Now if you follow any religion or just interested in learning more about religions, give this video a thumbs up. As well as if this is your first time watching FTD Facts, just go click that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you'll be notified of more videos like this. One of the unique elements of Hinduism is that it's a polytheistic religion, which is a religion that promotes or believes in multiple deities. And inside Hinduism, there's a wide variety of gods to choose from. However, to say that Hinduism is a polytheistic religion isn't exactly 100% accurate. You see, many Hindus do view the religion as a monotheistic religion, meaning that there is one supreme being, one supreme god, and this being has no fixed form or shape. This being is beyond time and space and beyond other human limitations. And all the other gods and goddesses are just different sides or different angles of this one supreme being. This supreme being is seen as the god of all. Okay, this question actually worries or confuses a lot of Hindu youngsters. And forget about Hindus, it confuses the non-Hindus even more. Mm-hmm. They think this weird religion has got so many gods. And if I ask all of you, look, Shiva, do you think it's ultimate, almighty? You say, yes. Vishnu, yes. Ultimate, almighty, yes. Ultimate, yes. And Mother Goddess, of course, Mother Goddess. How can we forget them? She's ultimate too. Now, you see, straight away, contradiction, in, come, come on, you can't have too many ultimates. This is not ultimate enough. Now, similar to the Christian religion, Hinduism also has a trinity of sorts oh, yeah. where there's one God in three persons. Mm-hmm. And these oh, yeah. persons, if you will, are Brahma, who is the creator okay. of all reality, Vishnu, the preserver of all the creations, and Shiva, the destroyer. So, more accurately, Hindus worship one supreme being by different names. This is because the people in India, through their various different cultures and languages, view God in a different way. And their understanding of God is very distinct to their group or language. Throughout history, four main Hindu branches formed. Shaivism, Shaktism, Vaishnavism, and Smartism. In Shaivism, God is Shiva. In Shaktism, the God is Shakti. For the Vaishnavites, Vishnu is seen as the Supreme God. And inside of the Smarta tradition, they see all the deities as a reflection of the one God. So the choice of the deity is left up to the individual. Now this is one of the factors why Hindus are so tolerant of other religious beliefs, because they believe that there are many different paths 
that one can take that lead them back to the one God. Whether or not you follow a Hindu branch or some other religion, or just even follow a way of life that may not necessarily use the term God, you can still find God whatever path you choose. Now, I did mention that Hinduism is viewed as a polytheistic religion, although that is not entirely accurate. And it can also be viewed as a monotheistic religion, which sheds a little bit more light on the concepts and beliefs of Hinduism. However, there is a third view. One unique concept and teaching inside Hinduism is that God is not far away from humanity, living in a heaven that is way out there that people can't find, but rather that God is actually inside each and every living being, and it's up to us to discover this. And knowing God in this way is the goal of Hinduism. This view of God existing in all things, as well as giving life to all things, is called panentheism. This may be a new word for some of you, but it is distinct from pantheism. And just to clarify, the view of pantheism states that God and the natural universe are one in the same, nothing more. However, the panentheism view of Hinduism is quite different. The panentheistic belief is that God is both in the world as well as transcends the world. And this is considered to be the highest Hindu view of God. Hindus also believe in various different gods that perform different functions. And one of the examples that I can use to sort of illustrate this is like take a corporation for example. We have the owner and that would be like the supreme god and then we have other gods which are like the CEO, the CFO and other corporate executives. Okay. Maybe that's not the most accurate example but hopefully that sort of gives you a picture and these other divinities are highly advanced beings similar to spirits and angels and other religions. But if there is one supreme god, why is the word god used for other beings that aren't god but are called god? Sometimes even human beings are seen and related to as being gods. They call Sachin Tendulkar yes. as the cricketing god because somebody became an extraordinary achievement, almost superhuman kind of achievement. Now we say he's a deva, he's a cricketing god because nobody ever played cricket like him. A little confusing, right? Well, a lot of the confusion simply comes from the use of the English word God. Today we are using it. Otherwise, there never was a word called God in any of the Indian languages. And depending on whether or not you use a capital G or a lowercase g, that can change the whole context of what kind of God you're referring to. But in Hindu tradition, they don't always use the word God. Each tradition or branch of Hinduism worship the Supreme God as well as their own group of divine beings, which perhaps would create a distinction in your mind to differentiate the Supreme Being from the other gods slash divine beings, which are all reflections of the Supreme God. And a lot of the confusion, especially to those who are not Hindu comes from the fact that Hindus from different branches may call the one God by many different names according to their own traditions. Hinduism allows for the freedom to approach God in your own way and does not say you must conform to one path specifically. He says the same ultimate reality that you are trying to relate to, you can call it by different names and give it different forms. Names and forms can be different but the same reality, ultimate reality. So not many gods, but many ways to think about God. And the final thing I want to touch on is the gender of God inside Hinduism. Is God male? Is God female? Is God both? The only way we can build a relationship with this principle called Brahman is to think of this principle as a personality. Suppose I said, build a relationship with Brahman. You say, what do I do now? I said, no, no, no. Think of Mother God as sweet with flowing hair. Not just Father in heaven, Mommy in heaven. Why not Mommy? Because we are human, we like to relate to this principle in a human manner, that's why we create all this imagery. Well, commonly in Hinduism, like many other religions, God is represented as a male figure. And in the Hindu view, God's energy, called Shakti, is represented as his wife. For example, the Hindu trinity consists of Brahma, the creator, Vishnu the Preserver and Shiva the Destroyer. And they have their feminine counterparts like Savaswati, the wife of Brahma, Lakshmi, who is the wife of Vishnu, and Parvati, the wife of Shiva. So I God and I God's energy are inseparable, and the metaphor of wife 
is really just used to symbolize this. So these wife gods, if you will, are metaphorical representatives. They're not actually different gods. So you can kind of start understanding now how these god figures are actually representative of the different aspects of God. Hindu philosophy also teaches that God is neither male nor female. Hindus know that God doesn't marry anyone and gender and marriage are just for us humans. So none of that going on up there in here or whatever the realm of god none of that going on there and the word brahma means spirit not as a person at all but as a principle of reality they said the whole of this creation is nothing but an expression of this principle look not a person principle that becomes visible manifested as the world that we see in front of us brahman becomes more visible because clearer as living things and the most clearest vision of this brahman this principle is humanity men and women so yes, that's why Hindus have so many gods and at the same time don't have so many gods. It's completely impossible to put like a blanket view on the religion of Hinduism. <laughs> even many people don't even like calling it a religion, they call it a way of life. So no one view or perspective or terminology can really sum up Hinduism. It's really all about human exploration and human discovery. So rather than being the source of confusion or the grounds for endless religious disputes and debates perhaps if you look closely enough you'll see that within the many varying views of God or whatever language you use to refer to this higher power or universal energy we are a lot more similar than we may think thank you guys so much for watching Be sure. okay so basically after watching the video mm -hmm. I thought mm -hmm. okay I kind of understand mm -hmm. this is I kind of understand at least the way of thinking the Hindu perceive mm. what gods are. Yeah, yeah. But the way they perceive gods mm. is simple, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's confusing. Complicated. Complicated. Mm, yeah. Confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I think number one, one of the reasons, yeah. one of the reasons why, mm -hmm. because we kind of like get lost mm -hmm. in translation. Mm -hmm. there, there's so many terms, yeah. So many terms. Yeah. We use the word gods, yeah. but the Indians doesn't see them as gods, oh, but yeah. as divine, uh, divine, me, divine, divine beings, be, huh? or li, li, living de 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 uh -huh. deity, or deity, or something like uh -huh. that, right? However, it's, and it also gets more confusing mm -hmm. when FTD facts mm -hmm. say that, for example, the three male, the three main male gods. It's the, called Trinity. That's what the Trinity. Uh, me Allah, the most. In Indonesia, we say we say Allah Tritunggal, yeah. which is the Brahma. Yeah, Brahman, Brahman Vishnu, Vishnu and, and Siva. Siva. And then it gets Vishnu. more confusing on how the female the female version. The or, quote unquote the yeah, wife gods. The wife gods. Sabaswati. Sabaswati. Lakshmi. Lakshmi and Parvati. Then Parvati. Parvati. Yeah. So but they are not different. They are not they are, different. They, they are the same. Basically and they are mirror. They are not married. They are mirror they are of each other. Yeah. But maybe like the way certain people from different societies See them, perceive them, perceive them, but they are one and the same. Yeah. But maybe different societies, uh -huh. different levels yeah. of society, uh -huh. call them by different names. Names, yeah. And by also way. the concept, the concept <laughs> of uh, we can have so many paths, but we can, we uh, but those paths can only lead to one God. That I just knew that concept. I just knew that yeah, concept too. Concept. Because like, okay, let's talk a little bit mm -hmm. about Christian. Christian. Christian, right? Mm. You know there's two main branch. Two main branch. Of Christianity. Yeah. Protestants Protestant. and Catholics. Catholic, yeah. And then if we go down to the sub branches, mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. is also from the Christian side, uh -huh. there's the uh, what's it called? The uh, okay. Anglican. Anglican. There's an Anglican. Um, yeah. There is also the charismatic. Yeah. There is also a few others. I, I don't remember all of them. There's so many. <laughs> there's so many. And Catholics well, also. Catholic. Right? Oh also. yeah. Hey, there is only one. Eh? Catholic, I think only... Catholic is only one because okay. uh, all the 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 apa penganut agama the believer the believer of the Catholic they all should report to report. Pope. Yeah? yeah, even if you divorce, yeah, 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 you need yeah, to yeah. report to the Pope. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the I like the way you say it, report. <laughs> like, like, so what what about the uh, okay? Let's the, talk about the Christian because uh, you, you you know like Christians. Protestants, yeah? yeah Protestant. Let's talk Protestant first. Yeah, Protestant. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really, you know, because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about Protestant only. Sometimes, the way we pray, yeah. the way we worship God is different. 
even the procession of um, ibadah, mm-hmm. the procession of the uh, ceremony, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday serving, Sunday service, Sunday ser- service, service yeah, uh-huh. it's different, yeah, different. from one to another. Yes, mm-hmm. and of course, um, but if we put pull in some similarities uh-huh. from the FTD facts video uh-huh. uh-huh. on how the one thing that I like about just now after what I learned yeah, yeah, about yeah, the Hindu, yeah, yeah. Say, you can use whatever path. Uh-huh. As, but the discovery is the same yeah, to that one God. Yeah. Christianity is kind of different. Mm-hmm. Christianity is like if your way is different than mine. Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> Something. You're wrong. You're right. Right. Uh-huh. Right. But it's interesting. Mm-hmm. It's very very interesting, mm-hmm. and it really kind of like explain mm-hmm. why there are so many different. I wouldn't call it gods. Mm-hmm. I would call it like divine beings divine now. Beings, so it's yeah. not God. They're not really God. They're mm-hmm. like divine beings. Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, that was very interesting. Interesting facts. Like, Uh, from FTD facts. I got, I got a little bit of a headache actually yeah, watching the video. I got it. So, At the beginning, you see, uh, do you remember that uh, he said there are three million something three, gods? Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. I think, I think oh I'm my god. Are they gonna mention? I'm not gonna. Because I'm not really an expert on religion. Yeah. Even I'm not really a good Christian by myself. <laughs> But however, I thought that was a very interesting mm, video, yeah. which. Kind of explains mm. really. I think this video kind of sums it up, but at the same time, it makes me more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> As always, guys, thank yeah, you for watching. It's a good video. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next see video. Ya. Bye. So, what's it called? Kebaju ini. Kayak gua ada boost. <laughs>